Intermediate Algebra, Section 9.2, Applications of Exponential Functions. We see exponential functions in many areas. I have two examples here. One is coming from business or financial area. We have another one from the science area. And this first one deals with interest compounded annually. Tanya is investing $9,000 at an annual rate of 4.8% compounded annually. The amount of money in her account is given by the following function, where T is in years after her investment, how much money will Tanya have after three years? So they're telling us that T is in years, they're asking us what the value will be after specifically three years. So our variables agree, so we're calculating the balance when T is three, in other words, after three years. Notice the 9,000 is the initial or principal investment times 1.048. This is her annual interest rate raised to the third power. Using a calculator with an exponential key on it, I have a Casio model here. Following the order of operations, we'll do exponents first since Parentheses are already simplified, so 1.048 for a power key. I'm going to use the caret here, this upside down V, and then put the exponent of 3, hit the equals to calculate that value, and then the last operation in this function is to multiply by 9,000, the initial or principal investment. Since this is money, we'll round this to the nearest cent. So Tanya will have $10,359.20 in her account. And notice here's where that exponential function is applicable for this particular problem. In the next problem, we have the number of a certain type of bacteria can be estimated by the function given where T is in minutes after the population of bacteria numbered 2,000. How many bacteria were present 90 minutes after the population number 2,000? So here's that initial 2,000. Of importance is to make sure that your units agree, and it's telling us that this exponential function, notice the base raised to an exponential power, T is in minutes, and they're giving us our time in minutes. So to find that population that started out at 2,000, but evaluating it after 90 minutes, we'll replace T with 90. So we have 2,000 times the base of 2 raised to the 90 over 40 power, which would mean we're taking 2 to the 90th power and then taking the 40th root of that. Sounds a little intimidating, and given it's a fraction, we can divide numerator and denominator to simplify this by the common value of, in this particular problem, would be 10. The numerator divided by 10 will leave a 9. The denominator divided by 10 will leave a 4. And most times, instead of dealing with a fraction, we can convert it to a decimal. So 9 divided by 4 is equivalent to 2.8. Two, five. Now using this model calculator, the power key here is the caret, this upside down V. Other versions of calculators might be x to the y, it might be y to the x would be the power key, and in some models it might even be x to the, and have the box where that's where the exponential power, you would put your base, hit this key, and then put your power in. And that would be the case with all three of these. But using the calculator that I have and following order of operations, exponents have the priority over multiplication. I'll take two to the, or raised to the 2.25 power. Then multiply that result by 2000 to get the cell count or bacteria, I guess I should say, which rounding this to a whole number after 90 minutes, there would be 9,500, 
14 bacteria cells. 